Howdy, kids. We're going to talk about our next two-week art project. It's called the Cartoon Book Project. We've been learning about different techniques that work really well with simple cartoons. We've been drawing facial expressions front and side on. We've been doing thumbprint humans. We've also been doing little simple humans. You don't need to do thumbprints. You can do simple humans. You can do thumbprint animals. You've got to make sure you put bends in the arms and the legs. Try and put some movement and energy lines if someone is walking or running or a tail is wagging. Speech bubbles, remember to write the words first. Draw the V, then draw the speech bubble. Captions. Now a caption is the narrator telling a little bit more about the story so the reader understands it better. So they're words like later on or meanwhile or two weeks later or I loved it too or so on and so forth. You can read those in your own time. Now you're ready to create a cartoon for our special book. This book will be about positive things you or your family have experienced while learning at home. Hmm, I wonder what I'm going to create. I have some ideas. Brainstorm some ideas that you think you might be able to draw. Maybe it's a challenge you have overcome. Maybe you've picked up a new hobby. What have your family been doing during learning at home that they hadn't done before? Maybe something sad happened in your family, but then you did something that helped you through it. Maybe the way you have practiced your faith has changed. You could do a comic strip about a day in the life of learning at home. How has your thinking changed during this time? For example, before COVID and after COVID images. What have you lost and gained during this time of quarantine? What sorts of things do you do, did you do at home to make learning better or enjoyable? So here I am, I'm going to brainstorm my ideas. So some things, extra sort of new things that I've been doing, uh, I've been doing extra pottery. Uh, I've been able to garden more like a planted veggies and I've planted herbs. I've been able to cook more as I've been home so much. And something I enjoy is really, I enjoy seeing the kids on Google Meets. I miss the kids so much. So what else can I add to my brainstorm? I can add what's going to be in the story. Me, the kids in the Google Meets. I could have me, the garden, my pets in the garden scene. I could have me, the stovetop and the cooking pot in the cooking idea. Or I could have me making something in the pottery idea. So earlier on I drew some images of me missing those kids. See my sad face? And me saying, howdy, kids. And I thought, oh, I could make sort of like three panels here. I could have panel one, me sad. Panel two, me happy saying howdy. And panel three could be all the kids' faces in a Google Meet. And I could have the kids' faces with different expressions. Here I've drawn some images about when I found out we were going into lockdown. Not lockdown again! How will I teach art online? And then I did some research. 
getting so many ideas. See my light bulbs? And this little image is of me yelling at Ben saying, come and look at this kid's amazing art, Ben. So I'm going to go over my writing with a pen, which is what I want you to do for your plan so that I can see your writing. So go over the top of your pencil work, just your speech bubbles and your captions with a pen, please. So some classes have seen my two scene comic strip. This is about me taking my dog Max for a walk. And I've written, want to go for a walk, Max? And he's written, at law. He's saying, at last, I've been waiting all day. And I wrote a caption at the top, I love going for walks. And in the second scene, I've got me yelling out, fetch the ball, Max. And Max is saying, there's the ball. And he's got some um, action lines, movement lines, and there's some windy lines and my hair going mental. And I've written in my caption, Max loves it too, but my hair doesn't. I also drew out like a single scene of me in my garden. And there I am watering a plant and I've written, I've enjoyed spending more time in the garden and I'm thinking that. So you see the speech bubble has like a cloud and here's my cat Schmitty and he's thinking, I love having mum at home. And there's Max, my dog, and he's thinking, when are we going for a walk? Who will be in your story? Where is this story happening? This will become your background. Details which help the reader understand where this story is happening. Decide on one of your stories, only one, and sketch out a plan. Don't add much detail. Will your story be one scene? Will your paper be in portrait or landscape? So here's my paper, I've got it in landscape. Or you could have it in portrait style. Make sure you write your title. Will, your, will you have a two scene panel? So here I've got my paper in landscape, I've got my two scenes, or I could have it in portrait style. Make sure you've got your title and you've got your two scenes. Will you have three scenes or three panels? So here's my paper in portrait with my three panels. It won't work well in landscape, too tall and skinny. What about four panels or scenes? Here's my paper in landscape and I've got my four scenes. You could please number them one, two, three, four, so that the reader knows which direction to read it. So now, decide on one of your stories, one of your ideas, and sketch out a plan. Don't add much detail. Your draft should have the amount of panels you're planning, captions, which tells us a bit more about the story, expressions in faces, bends in the arms and legs, movement and action lines, speech bubbles, and your rough background. Here's a checklist before sending your plan on Seesaw. Please go over any writing with pen or texter so I can read your work. Photograph your work well. Ask an adult to help you do this. Do not use your Chromebook or laptop to photograph. These photos do not turn out well. Put it on Seesaw and stretch your photo so it takes up the whole space. Do not add a voice recording. Check if you can read your words. Check that your photo is sharp. Check that there are no shadows. Check that there are no fingers in your photo. Good luck. Happy creating. I can't wait to see your work on Seesaw. Remember, this is only your plan. See ya.